What's up? What's going on? What's happening? Fellow fans of Clash of Clans, it is your host, Galadon. So excited to be here. So excited to be playing Gem Fix Farm Max That Rush. And we are on episode number 47. And it feels like we're starting to get there. Obviously, it's going to take more than 50 episodes, but I feel like less than 100 to get the series done and to be done with Town Hall 12. And, okay, party wizard music. I'm sorry. I know that some of you love it, others absolutely hate it. Let's just, okay, I love it, okay? I'm telling you right now, this is the best music ever in this game. And yes, it's insanely repetitive and really annoying, but you have to take it at that. You have to realize that it's designed to be annoying and obnoxious, and it definitely hits the mark there. I'm loving it. I love the party wizard music. In fact, listening to the party wizard music has changed my opinion on the party warden and oh by the way did you see those epic free spells spell timing and placement okay the last one was a um, but the first two were amazing the first two beautiful on the wizard tower and the multi-target inferno at the same time and yes we are overrunning a maxed out base with pekka bow bats okay where was i oh yeah party wizard music so yeah i love it let's just remember that it's going to be like el primo okay before you know it it'll be gone and you know what? Although you might dislike it now, I bet you miss it just a little tiny bit, just a little bit. When it's gone, it'll be gone forever. So let's not even bother with the hashtag save the party wizard. You know what happened with El Primo. Okay, so now I told you I would never buy the shovel of obstacles, but yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm not gonna buy this thing, okay? I told you, messed with you right there. I bet you were already headed down to the comments to tell me I was a hypocrite, right? No, it's the shove it of obstacles. Do not buy that thing. I'm sorry. Supercell, drop the price. 500 gems is ridiculous. Uh, all right. Let's spend 500 gems elsewhere as we free up some builders to continue to upgrade these archer towers and cannons. Uh, all right. Get rid of the last, the very last level 13 archer tower. Wait. Okay. We've got one more. Level 13 archer tower. Get rid of the last level. Hold on. Got to free up a builder. And, uh, okay, so, uh, well, here, see, that's why we don't spend money on shovels, because we need it to free up builders. Okay, so we freed up the builder, but let's go ahead and remember, we free up builders first, and then we do walls, then we reoccupy the builder with an upgrade, because we don't want to be spending gems to free up builders to upgrade walls, because that just feels bad. B-A-D! Okay, so there's the walls, and, uh, let's see, yeah, we are going to go ahead and speed things up a little bit with the builder potions. And before we go to that archer tower, let's do something I love to do, and that is clear obstacles while you've got a builder potion active. Uh, it's just fun to watch the builders fly over there and absolutely just explode any sort of obstacle that you want to get rid of. And I think that is about it. The tree is gone. There we go. So now we can go to the last level 13 archer tower on its way to level 14. Okay, so one more attack today. Yes, what do you know? It's Pekka Bobat again. Are you shocked? Are you surprised? It's a maxed out base. Are you surprised? Are you shocked? Not really? Okay. So again, I wish, I really wish there were more players in Legend League and in Clan Wars that were leaving their Inferno Towers set to single. You just don't really see it that much there. But for some reason in farming, it is extremely frequent. I would say that, oh, let's go. Party Wizard, let's go. DJ Galadon on the wheels of steel. Party Wizards, baby. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I, just, I love the, I love that music. I do. And uh, you know, I'm gonna, I was gonna be attacking extra frequently uh, just for the music as long as we can. But yeah, so I just wish more players would leave their single target infernos up at the Legend League and the Clan Wars and CWL and then I would be smashing it because I seem to be getting pretty good at the Pekka Bobat. On, again, on certain bases. It, you know, it didn't hurt that there was a wizard tower under construction. You didn't have to notice that. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. And we would have used the last free spell right there. See, boom, we would have used it on that. Actually, probably would have been distracted by the heroes. Yeah, so we used it there instead. But that worked out. And that would have been distracted by the ice golem. You see, so we didn't even need the last free spell. So, anyway. All right, so the bats go on their way through the rest of this base, and we pick up massive loot while somebody watches. Hopefully it's the defender, and maybe he will learn to switch some of those infernos to multi, or maybe not, and we'll see him again. Okay, that's like a million to one chance. Okay, where were we? Yes, we're gonna upgrade a bit more. 
check out the progress base. Remember, everything above and to the left of the walls is maxed out. Below and to the right is not. We've got wall rings. We've got a power potion. Wait a minute. We don't need a power potion. 300 gems. Yeah, no, we don't really need that anymore. I mean, maybe someday in the future when Town Hall 13 comes out. But again, this is the whole thing. We're trying to race to max 12 before 13. Now, we did get another birthday surprise. So, yes, it's number 7. And we are using a shovel, I mean, shovel to move that. Just remember that we did not pay 500 gems for those shovels. Oh, there, number 8. Let's go. I believe this is my last shovel. So, I think... Now, maybe we will delete one. I don't know. Now that I've spent the shovel to move it, I don't know. But we've got room for, like, two more surprises there. And then we'll have to clear that cauldron uh, if they continue to spawn. Let me know. Does anybody out there have more than eight? I've got eight at this point on both this account and on my main maxed out Town Hall 12. So, eight is the highest number that I have. But maybe there's somebody out there or many of you that have more. I don't know. We'll have to see how many can possibly spawn. Okay, so checking the treasury, nothing there. Yes, let's go. It's package time. One ninety nine, two ninety nine, four ninety nine, nine nine, and mumbling. Uh, try not to mumble when you, when you talk in videos. Okay, that's my advice. If you're if you are making videos, because I get asked this a lot, and it just don't mumble and don't clear your throat, sniffle, sneeze, cough, or otherwise hack into the microphone. If you do that, go ahead and re-record. I think that is my my biggest tip to people that want to become YouTubers because those things just really annoy people and I feel like you get viewers who will not stick around if they hear too much of that. Okay, end of the unsolicited advice from Galadon for the day. Uh, we've got the packages, we've got the special offers. We have no builders free, unfortunately. Uh, so, oh, but we do have a book. So we will go to the longest upgrade, that is the Wizard Tower, and use it there. Ooh, level 141, not bad, okay. And then over to the Town Hall, we're going to go ahead and use all of these Builder Potions, stack those up, and get a couple of days worth of work out of our Builders for the next uh, few hours or so. Okay, so that's that. And then, of course, one more time, let's clear the obstacles, because, you know, I love it. Okay. Buzzing right through that. Oh, there's a loot cart there. Can't use that right now. Should have picked that up before I bought the packages. Galadon. Okay. And that one. And then this trunk. Okay. I think that... Oh, wait. There's another trunk right there. All right. I think that is it. We are good to go. Okay. So we have one builder left. So what we normally would do would be to upgrade walls first before we upgrade buildings. But we've got enough loot right now to do multiple upgrades. So I'm thinking... Rather than work on wizard towers, why not max out both of my air sweepers at once? I've been waiting for this opportunity. I've been waiting for the time where I could do both of them, but it took, of course, 12.8 million, so we had to be overfilled. There we go. So now those guys are done. We're going to move them. Where are we going to move them? We're going to move them to the other side. Uh, there we go. Oh, perfect little spot for them right here. And I gotta tell you, it's starting to look pretty open below and to the right of the walls. It really is starting to look good. Look at that. It's so crowded up there. We're gonna have to shift everything down next episode. So watch for a slightly modified progress base next time. Now we have no builders available. So we did not do what we said we were gonna do. Um, okay. All right, hold on. We still have four million in gold. So we do have enough to do one more upgrade. What upgrade would it be? It would have to be, I don't think any of the, yeah, it's going to have to be one of these guys. Okay, maybe a spring trap, maybe a bomb or a mine, a seeking air mine. Perfect. Okay, 3.2 million for the seeking air mine. So that is what we're going to put the builder to work on here after we do the walls. So even though it looks like I'm using gems to free a builder for walls, I'm not. I'm using gems to free a builder to upgrade the seeking air mine. You got me? Okay. Technicalities semantics i know but you know these things are important to me so now we've got the walls all right we got four new wall segments five new wall segments and we get those moved over to the uh, upgrading side here let's see well there's not really okay there we go and we still have that one that one singular level 13 wall there just for looks and now now we can go ahead and put this last builder to use two days nine hours to the upgrade the seeking air mine which coincidentally is now maxed as well so it gets to go over here somewhere i guess right here all right, so now all five builders are fully occupied, and let's see here. The
The lab. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so we have a bunch of dark elixir left we need to use. So let's go ahead and gem the wall breaker to max. And then it's time for witches. Man, witches are going to be maxed before you know it. So I'm excited. I haven't used witches at Town Hall 12 at all. And here we go. Wow, 11 days. Okay, we're not going to... Definitely not going to wait 11 days for that. Hopefully a book will come up in the shop in a package soon or something like that. Otherwise, we may have to gem it because I definitely want to be using... What? what, what? Did you... I, I bet there's some of you already down in the comments that noticed this bush that I missed. And yes, I have no free builders. So we have to hide the bush because aesthetically it's displeasing to the eye, right? I mean... Oh, here we go. So let's just go ahead and cover it up with the Seeking Air Mines and make it look like, oh, that's, this is about as close as we're going to get. So we just kind of distract the eye from it. You know, it's like, you know, you can't wipe the spot away, but you can try to cover it up. So there we go. And we'll get it next time once the builders get free. All right, that is just about going to do it. So one more time across the seventh birthday surprises as we let the balloons fly. And we are going to move forward to the much awaited and anticipated favorite part of the episode. That's right. It's the end. No, no, it's actually, it's the status report where we review the totals for 47 episodes. Now in dollars spent today, the packages did run 1996. So their total is now 37.69.72. Gems spent today over 6,600, about $47 worth. And of course on total time spent, we are now at 150 hours, nearly a week of my life for next goals. Well, I feel like it could be Rage Gem time. Let me know what you guys think. And witches, which witches do I pick? Let me know, and we will do some witch attacks in future episodes as well. As always, thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You're the trash day gal fam. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to each other. Animals, easy on the planet. And of course, I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. the first time. The best part of the episode is the end. Of course!